Welcome to Germany vs. USA. Serious topic today, marriage. Getting hitched. Today we want to talk about marriages. Um, there's a lot going on right now with marriages mm -hmm. um, all over the world. And really it's an interesting topic to us because it's it's so different. Uh, even in the United States regionally, mm -hmm. it's very different. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't really know if it's that much different regionally in German. It does vary. Like I know Bavaria has a lot of like 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 has their own like cultures or th own traditions and, and marriages, but um, it does differ a little bit in Germany as well, culture like regionally, I guess. Yeah, I mean, in in the United States, the South, um, traditionally people get married a lot younger mm -hmm. than other parts of the country. Oh, okay. So uh, people get married in their early twenties in the South, where I think the United States. Most people get ma married in like their mid twenties to like thirties, mm -hmm. um, and that's just a complete different mentality. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, that especially in Germany, um, and on a broader spectrum like Europe, where people get married a lot later. Yeah, I mean, in Germany, usually, I, I mean, I looked up the average age is around like thirty one for women and thirty three, thirty four for men. I mean, that's gone up a lot also in the last twenty, thirty, forty, fifty year, years, and the same in the U.S. also. But it's a lot higher in, in, in Germany, whereas in the U.S. it's around, what was it, like, 26 or Yeah, 28? like, uh, for women it's, like, 26, mm -hmm. and for men it's, uh, 29. So it's actually, it's gone up a bit as well, right? Yeah, just, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I think 20 years ago it was, like, 21 and 23. So the age is one thing. Then Actually, I want to talk a little bit about, be, about the time before you actually get married, like, mar married engagement. In the US, you, the bride usually wears like a very big diamond bling ring, right? Oh, yeah. Big ring on her left finger, left ring finger. Um, if it's a small ring, he probably doesn't love you that much. <laughs> and so, you know. No, it's, uh, you know, they're pretty expensive engagement rings. I should so. look it up. They're about $2,100 in average. That's what, you know, American adults sp spend on an engagement ring. Yeah, there's, there's a rule of thumb. I think it's either like... You are, if you're getting engaged, you want to save like two, three months salary okay. for that ring. And that, I think there's a lot of different variations of that, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it's something along those lines. Okay. I mean, it's a, yeah, it's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Um, and it's only the bride who wears the engagement ring, right? Right. So the, the bride only wears it, like I said, you know, left, you know, left, left hand. hand. Okay. Yep. Well, in Germany, it's actually both parties, I guess, both fiancés, uh, men and women wear engagement rings. And it depends. I have seen a lot of like German girls actually having engagement rings that are also like bling, but the traditional engagement rings are actually just gold and plain. Okay. And so like men and women wear them like like basically. But diamonds the same. are forever. Diamonds are forever. Gold. Well, gold is pretty valuable as well. <laughs> gold is pretty much forever too. So, in Germany, the engagement ring is worn on the left hand, while the marriage ring is worn on the right hand. Okay, and that's by for. For both people. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, the left, you know, so the left hand, you have the engagement ring and the marriage band, both Wait, on the left. Uh, what's the ring. marriage band? It's the, so like, like when girls get engaged, they'll have a, uh, you know, engagement ring. Mm -hmm. And then once they get married, they actually have a wedding band. Is it get, also a ring? Yes, yeah, another ring. Oh, okay. But where like a male, you know, in the traditional sense of a marriage, would just have a band. Okay. And then the marriage ring goes to the right hand? No, it goes on the left hand. Okay, so in Germany it goes on the right hand. Okay, so okay, I'm not sure about the engagement ring, like what happens to the engagement ring from the left hand if it like wanders to the right hand, if you get the marriage ring? Not sure, I don't know. So when couples are about to get engaged in the US, um, mm -hmm. traditionally, and I mean, especially in the South, um, it's not even, I mean, it's, it's a must, mm -hmm. I'd say, but uh, overall it's a tradition. Before you go propose to your fiance, you have to go ask permission, you know, for her family by her family. Oh, okay, yeah. So you'll, you know, you know, have dinner or whatever, and you know, ask, you know, her dad, you know. Is and that like in her presence or no? She, no, she's not there. So basically, you go down and you have a uh, conversation with, you know, her father and her family, right? And you know, and, you know, and then just basically, hey, this is my intention. This okay. is what I want to do. And only after that, you actually ask the uh, the girl, your girlfriend, basically, right? Okay. And, and not everyone does that, um, and that's a very traditional, mm -hmm. I think also a very southern thing, but mm -hmm. um, it's really important. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I think like in Germany it used to be that way a lot, and, and it's kind of funny because a good friend of mine, she, um, she uh, 
she got engaged about a year ago and her um her boyfriend was actually like was debating and thinking about if he should actually um ask you know her dad or not i'm not sure how how it is right now i know it's like traditionally i think you have to do that or that's what people usually do not sure if very many like very many people do it today i don't think so yeah more times than not it's not a surprise mm -hmm. if that happens they're not it's like oh, oh well, he's to, uh, i wonder what he wants <laughs> you know like, like seven years it's like hmm. yeah actually that brings us to another point how long like how long does it take until like if, like if like a couple how long does it take for them to actually get married what do you think like well if i'd say normal is a year a year engagement is very but, but very, if, well then that's how long does it take until you actually get engaged like how long do you I mean, I'm sure it varies. Of yeah, course, it right? varies. I think uh, I, if I'm just gonna pull a number, I think people probably date two years, two and a half years, um, depending on your uh -huh. age. Right. You know, and that goes back to the age thing. Yeah, yeah right. Of getting married, but I, I think so. But people like in their mid twenties, probably after like two or three years, they're yeah, probably gonna get married. Yeah, right. Then they'll you know probably yeah. make that decision, or you know kind of go their own way. <laughs> I think that is actually in Germany. I mean, I have no statistic data on that, but I'm pretty sure in Germany that people stick together for a longer time until they get married. Like uh, the friend I was talking about, um, she got um, married, uh, she got engaged with her boyfriend after like six or seven years of basically being together. And I think that's also very common. If I think of my parents, they had been together for I think also like five or six or seven years until they got actually married. Yeah, I don't think my parents were together that long. Mm -hmm. I think they were, they dated a couple of years mm -hmm. and, uh, and then they, they got married. Miley Cyrus, the Jonas Brothers. Um, what's the other dude's name? I think I know where you're going. The Bieber that. dude. What is his name? Uh, Justin Bieber. Justin? Did, I, did I say his name earlier? I don't know. Anyway, Jonas Brothers, Miley Cyrus, Justin Bieber, and uh, his ex-girlfriend. What's her name? Something. Uh, Selena Gomez or something? Gomez. Gomez. Yeah, Gomez. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. They all had what is called like a purity ring. Okay, so uh, <laughs> okay, uh, a purity ring is not an engagement ring, um, right? But like, but I don't know if it's religious. I guess it is religious I think, in, yeah. in the sense of like you won't sleep with each other. Like, right. like you're not, you know, you're not sexually active. Mm -hmm. uh, when I think of purity rings, I usually just laugh. <laughs> uh, not not because of, like what it stands for, mm -hmm. uh, because I think you know what it stands for probably was just cause, but it's right. just like. A lot of times it's young, it's kids. You yeah, know? yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. young kids, like teenagers, like oh, I love her, and you know, or like this. And yeah. It's like so when people are getting married. I mean, what's like the ceremony like? Is it religious? Is it a party? Mm -hmm. Is it a big deal? I mean, do I they go to a courthouse, and what happens? Well, the first thing is you got to go to the you know registrar's office, like the courthouse, and then you can have like a marriage in church, and it's not allowed to have just a marriage in church. Like you can't have that. You first you got to go to the um, I guess registrar's office to the mm -hmm. federal court. This is Standesamt. Um, then you get married, and that's usually like a small thing, like a small ceremony, like the day before you get married, or a couple of days before you get married, like before you before the actual marriage in church. Is sorry about that. And so then you just meet up with a couple of you know like people, families usually, um, and you have like a kind of small like party, I guess. And then a couple of days later, you have the actual like marriage in church. But not everyone like marries in church, of course. Like right. you don't have to. Uh, of course, you don't have to. And the, so, uh, and the one in church is yeah, it's, it's very very big, I guess, similar to the ones in the states. I would say. Yeah, it sounds very uh, yeah. similar in the sense where you go to the court, you get a marriage license. Um, most churches make you go through marriage counseling mm -hmm. um, to try to just you for what marriage is okay and then you do that then you go get you know your document and I was in a wedding this summer where I actually um, was a groomsman mm -hmm. and when the couple got married afterwards like we were like in the back like yeah. getting up for the reception I had to sign the legal document as their witness yeah that's um, it, yeah. even though it was in a church and there were lots of people there so oh, that was in the church yeah oh, okay and uh, and so you know and then they send it in and boom they get their marriage license so right. that, it sounds very similar though. are there like any like kind of like weird traditions around like Christmas not Christmas <laughs> around around marriage and in, in, I mean in in Germany for example like there's the thing where the bride she carries like salt and bread through the church and that is supposed to like improve the harvest for the next year I guess and then there's another thing they do in Bavaria actually where uh, the bride and the groom once they are married like right after they walk out of church they um, they uh, basically chaw some log 
like they, well they don't chop it they uh they chop it right yeah chop some wood yeah well yeah like a huge log thing that they okay. have out there and that's like two, the first like common task that they're actually they i don't i'm sure there's weird traditions um i mean i know that on the day of the wedding the bride and groom don't see each other until mm -hmm. the wedding because it's you know bad luck mm -hmm. i think in the jewish tradition uh, they step on glass mm -hmm. you know right at the end um Try to think of other things. There's a unity candle that sometimes there or not. Right? Oh, okay. That like once people get married, um, they'll put out like other candles and light, mm -hmm. and then they'll bring it together. Mm -hmm. That's one like this thing. Like, this is one. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's other things, but nothing like chopping uh, wood or throwing yeah, salt I, uh, in the church. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've never been to one of those. And I'm from Mississippi. I've never seen something like that. <laughs> one interesting thing about you know, getting married in the U.S. is, you know, where I'm from, a lot of people get married a lot younger. Mm -hmm. And the divorce rate, the younger you are, is so much higher. It's, mm -hmm. if, if you're, if you get married, you know, in your early 20s, before you're 25, like, the divorce rate's, like, in the 30 percentile. It's where, crazy. Like, where, third marriage is getting yeah, divorced. Yeah, wow. and then if you get married in your 30s, it's like you're, like, at 8 percent or something huh. like that. And so, of course, you know, there's different stats out there, but it's, I mean, getting married young, um, you're more likely to get a divorce in the United States. Uh -huh. And it seems like in Germany and Europe, people get married later. So I think that the divorce rate would be a lot lower. It is, it is, it is lower. I mean, it's a, it's, it is lower. I don't know the exact numbers, but I know it is lower. Um, but we do have a lot of divorces as well. I mean, I do have quite a few friends whose parents got divorced. And like, is it like a topic where you, that you, is it weird to talk about it? Like if, you have, you know, like friends who whose parents got married, got get divorced, and like is it like a weird topic, or is it? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, unless it was like a, a nasty divorce right. or something, um, you know, I, I, it's not like a weird mm -hmm. thing or anything. Like, would your friends, if you have friends whose parents are divorced, would they be kind of ashamed of that, or is it like? It, I mean, it's probably depends on how the parents deal with that, but it's that, right. And I think it deals a lot with age too. Where yeah. like, if you're in high school, middle school, I think it's one thing. Where mm -hmm. you're older, you're just like ah. You know, I, and, and of course, everybody's case is different. Um, and when you live in a country where it's like 40 something percent of marriages don't work, you know, yeah, you it, run into that all the time. Yeah, you can't, yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, I have friends my age have already been divorced, and you know, and you're just like, Yeah, it's true. And then, Marie, you, know, you divorce, you marry early and you divorce early. Yeah, right. You're, you're like, Oh, well, I don't like that car. <laughs> that one didn't work. Next one. <laughs> So that's it about marriage. I mean, there's so many more things that we can talk about. It's just, you know, honeymoon. Is, I guess, I guess yeah, honeymoons, uh, bachelor, bachelorette parties. Yeah, actually, we're going to do an extra episode about bachelorette parties and Polterabende in Germany. And uh, same-sex marriage is a big issue right, right now. Right now, also, we're probably going to do another episode on that. So we didn't cover everything, but uh, we get back to some of those topics. Got to the tip of the iceberg. There we go. Y'all take it easy. Cheers. Um, we did actually want to talk about European PDA. Yeah, we just didn't tie it. It didn't tie we, in well. We don't have to though. We can talk about that actually in a separate episode, like PDA, and make the term like also like known to the German public because very few people will know what that is. Okay. 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 I guess. <laughs> I guess we can do that. <laughs> marriage. Is that how you pronounce it? Marriage. I say marriage. Marriage. Mm -hmm. Marriage. Marriage. Okay. But, I mean, you could say marriage. <laughs> <laughs> that was very different than marriage. <laughs> Words that we should try to leave out when we start is so and one thing. Okay. And just start up right away into the topic, I guess. Right. Okay. So, one thing. <laughs> <laughs>